Hey, welcome to this rant. Today, I will rant on the worstest of the worstest of the worstest of the worst of the worstest of the worstest of the worst of the worstest of the worstest movie in everywhere in hell. And that movie is Cuties. So, anyways, Cuties is the worstest of the worst of the worstest of the worstest of the worst of the worstest of the worstest of the worst of the worstest of the worstest of the worst of the worstest of. The worstest of the worst of the worstest of the worstest of the worst of the worstest of the worstest of the worst of the worstest of the worstest movie in everywhere in hell. I will give you reasons why I detest this movie along with movie 43, where the dead go to die and the banana splits movie. 1. For the most obvious of starters, it uses actual film footage of disgustingly sexualized 11 year old girls who also do scripted sexual acts, which is legally considered pedophilia. A serious crime in most countries around the world. In one scene, one of the female child dancers lifts up her crop top to fully display her bare breast. 2. An 11-year-old girl watches a rap music video in which nude women role-play through sexual dance acts, both heterosexual and lesbian. An 11-year-old female dance group then mimics these acts via on themselves and on each other. 3. When one of the dancers is first seen, the camera is watching her from behind whilst she is dancing in leather leggings as if she were in an Ariana Grande music videos. When she turns around, the viewer immediately notices that she is a child. 4. The title itself, a direct translation of the original French language title, is already a red flag. 5. The message that it intends to give, that sexualizing minors is wrong, is rather hypocritical, since the film, as mentioned before, actually comes across as a promotion of pedophilia by using actual filmed footage of sexualized minors. For this message to work properly, they wouldn't have filmed sexualized young girls or them doing inappropriate acts at all. 6. It's also extremely boring. 7. Outside of the filmed footage of sexualized children, the acting is rather really poor. 8. Ever if one can ignore that they contain filmed footage of sexualized children, the dance scenes are rather cringeworthy to watch. 9. The characterization is poor, with Amy being an unlikable character who does just about anything to fit in, even in an overly sexualized way. She is also a sociopath who stabs a student with a pencil, pushes someone into the lake to the tip as she blankly watches her drown, and scoffs at her own mother after falling down. What pours the salt onto the wound is that she doesn't receive any comeuppance for her actions, and the movie expects the viewers to sympathize with her. Angelica is also a generic mean popular girl who is the cause of Amy's unlikable personality. 10. Disgusting Cinematography With a film containing many instances in which the camera literally zooms in on either the rear ends of 11-year-olds twerking or the bodies of the aforementioned 11-year-olds. 11. Many serve no reason to be in the movie, other than to needlessly pad out the runtime. 12. One scene features Amy and her friends doing dark lips, which is just cringeworthy. 13. Specific plot points have wasted potential. 14. The girls seem like they don't want to be in the movie. 15. During the filming of the movie they had to make over 650 little girls twerk for auditions. 16. The ending, despite standing out better than most of the other plot points, CRQ number 2, is rather nonsensical. 17. The film is also anti-Muslim propaganda, as the Muslim character. Amy is shown as needing to be saved from her religion. An 18. Misleading poster, the original French poster gives off the illusion that it is a fun, family-friendly film when it could not be any further from the truth. Unlike most exploitation films such as the Serbian film, Showgirls, Reefer Madness, Blue is the Warmest Color, Young Adam, Sex Pot, Fritz the Cat, My Chance Daily Life and Movie 43, it tries to look innocent and play like one as if it is never aware that it is something that needs to be banned. And that's all the reasons why I detest this move, this movie is a complete waste of time. This movie is the only thing worse than my most detested shows, which they all suck super ultra hard. Thank god I never see this movie, never even tried to see it, and I will never see it. Or else it would literally make me vomit. Thank god this movie got a bad reveals on him. Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic. I hope this movie doesn't make it to HBO, or I will be so 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 furious. Anyways, I prefer to watch Puss in Boots, which is infinity times better than this retarded movie, 
because I remember watching this movie on Netflix since November 2020. But anyway, that's all for this rant video. If you have a request for me, let me know in the comments. See you guys in the next video. Have a good day. And remember, don't sexual harass kids, or else you will go to jail for that.